And the next turn is rolled in. Looks like we managed to kill that scout. Very nice. Let's look at what happened. Only these three cruisers we have are here. Oh, only these three cruisers we have. This is actually the, uh, the sensor scout with the advanced reactor. So I guess our attempt at information control did not quite work out. Interestingly, um, oh, you know what happened? He didn't jump his scout through. That's why he is uh, starting there. We uh, moved these ships around in anticipation of him jumping through the warp point, but he never actually jumped. And then we jumped through later with our two advanced ships and they then killed it. Uh, pretty quickly, it seems. Did he get a shot off? No, he didn't have any guns. Uh, no, he has seen our uh, reasonably nice warships. Hmm, great. I guess that we have to deal with. Wait. Mm, no, those two combats are definitely in Aldebaran. Oh, at first, um, the cruiser that was here didn't manage to kill it and then it started the other turn there. Yes, that's what happened. Because it ran away and it's faster, but then again he caught it on a curve and must have gotten one shot off. And after one minute and running around the circle once, that's where they started and that's where the other two warships came in. So I guess it's good because the ship alone could not actually kill it, no. We do actually need ships with a speed advantage there, something like <coughs> gunboats. As I keep saying. But no, we uh, should be able to make carriers and well, bombers and corvettes. And ooh, what happened here? S Freak Spatial Anomaly has transport one of warships from the Ansato Chara system. Um, which is where? Oh, it's down here, great. Uh, so that warship is removed from the front. Let's move you here then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, fine, let's go down. So if he really wanted to know, then he would know that we have these uh, fancier antimatter reactors now. Now he knows uh, that we have those, now he knows that we have these scanners. Uh, we can decide what to do with that information. Now he knows that we have a speed advantage that we have an information advantage against him, maybe. Or at least what I've seen against him. Which might well be early game uh, stuff that he built on the first couple turns. But then again, I don't see his technology ticking up very much at all. But then again, this is not exactly an accurate uh, estimate. Again, I don't see any change in his resource amount uh, in his vehicle amounts. Do you think he's resource locked with all this shit he's built? I mean, it doesn't look like he's built research on his homeworld. Maybe he just built yards and then went into a research uh, resource lock. We're actually um, falling into of the resource amounts now. Should be manageable for quite a few turns. So you, the uh, failed defense ship, actually expended quite a bit of ordnance there. You shall remain here. The beta fleet, which has these ships, is going to... Uh, I guess you're going to defend this war point. Mm -hmm. We're going to proceed further. You are still going to this war point. Yes, we were going to recloak you and move you to that war point. You are still approaching. Wales needs orders, these two new warships we built, and the scout. Uh, the sensor ship and this other scout we made. The sensor ship, it's pretty fast. Um, he might be able to outrun anything that he brings. So let's just keep it uh, somewhere near that war point. You know. Actually, let's just move you for two turns there and then we can decide if we want you on the warp point, next to the warp point, through the warp point. You are here. Uh, do we want to do anything with you? None in particular. 
we probably should proceed to this war point as well. And then we can and then we can uh, decide what we want to do with you there. We're doing pretty much the same thing. I'm guessing that there's more than one system behind here, which is why I want more scouts to just discover those uh, systems as soon as possible. Wasn't there colonies here? Yes. I think we should build colony ships for these. I think we should. I think we definitely should. I think maybe we should uh, put the fences into those colony ships as well, because we can build the fences much faster here than we can build them there. So, let's see. Uh, can we upgrade our current fighter design? Right, we have bombers available now, do we? Interceptors, bombers, bombers are 25 size, wow, that's quite a bonus. Uh, they only get an 80% instead of 100% bonus to speed. Uh, they get the same to dodge bonus, and they don't get any accuracy bonus, because I guess we don't have orbital industry research yet, I can deal with that. So, well, of course, at least two control centers. Mm. One of it has to be Gunner's Nest. Turret control for bomber, plus 5 to hit and to evade. I'm not sure if that's worth it. I think we rather want uh, two cockpits. Gunner's Nest can only go on the outside as well. Mm. A medium thrust is more efficient. Uh, what's 16 times 5? 80. Uh, yes, we want small thrusters level 3 over medium thrusters level 2 then. Are they more supply efficient? Uh, no, definitely not. But then again, fighters aren't really supposed to go anywhere. One move, two move, three moves. Interesting. 16 thrust. Uh, 16 times 5 is again 80, and yeah, this would be above the 75 threshold for 3 move, if we assume that we need 25 thrust. Okay. Oh, Latium armor. Or Latium. However you want to have this pronounced. Uh, this is also new for us. Mm, 20 structure. For 1 kiloton. It's a little more expensive, but that I can deal with. It also has one emissive, comp uh, emissive uh, armor point. We definitely want those. We want cloak, we probably don't need cloak, and I don't think those two dodges are worth the cost, not on a uh, fighter. So, can this thing actually fit torpedoes? Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Mm. Do we want a torpedo though? Because these things are still very ordnance hungry. And with that we could be uh, fitting a magazine and then shoot uh, four more torpedoes. And not have any armor. Well, with these bombardment arms we might not necessarily outrange whatever we are trying to shoot either. So let's go for Gatling mounted mass drivers again. Especially since we have those at level 5. 1, 2, 3. Should be sufficient. They take five ordnance shots, so ten seconds. Uh, ten shots, meaning thirty seconds of continuous fire. With a hundred fifty, so with another another hundred and twenty, it is good enough for a long while. Well, nothing left to do now, but slap on a few more plates of armor, I guess. Dup, dup, dup. And now this thing is 80 kilotons for armor as well, okay. This is our next generation fighter. Uh, the engagement range should still be set as 40. The ship 40, well, well actually it's the same. So let's just leave it at that. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should give it a different name because it's actually quite a bit uh, bigger. But let's obsolete the old one. We should probably upgrade our army too with those level 5 guns we have now. Uh, and probably the new armor. While we're at it. This would probably benefit from medium armor as well. Hmm, those three guns, but they're battery mounted and gatling mounted, so it's not quite the same as with the fighter. 
just fill it all back up with armor. There we go. Four twenty armor, shoot it. And then we have this gunboat, which we are going to uh, upgrade into a corvette, which is three <laughs> times the size. <laughs> it's bigger than the uh, it's bigger than the small frigates or destroyers destroyers we were building before. Fifty percent combat speed instead of sixty. Double acceleration turning. Uh, acceleration turning. I'm not that interested in. The two dodge bonus of forty uh, going into twenty is more of a it's more of an icon, uh, more of an issue for me. It still requires one control center, so we don't even need to put a second armor in, a second uh, bridge in. Okay, the, these things are actually big enough to mount reactors and the like. So, oh yes, and we have unlocked large thrusters as well, fifty. They produce a 300 thrust and they produce 70 thrust, so they are not quite as efficient. Uh, they should be producing five times as much, meaning 350 to scale linearly between the size and thrust, but that's not the case. How's it look cost wise? Mm, five times this would be 200, and uh, this is definitely more than 200. And that is eight times the organics and radioactive. So large thrusters? Mm, not convinced. Not convinced. They have better other stands. They have five times the storage supply. Mm, they produce four times that on the uh, thrust on the ground. The crew requirements five times as big. Okay, large thrusters are not on the menu, boys. Halt. Cease that thought. They only require three times as much supplies, so they are more efficient, if not as strong. Okay, large thrusters are back on the menu, boys. Still, how do they fare against solar sails? Probably pretty well. Um, they make three times the thrust, and if we wanted to make 300 thrust with solar sails, it would be 60 kilotons, so it's actually not that big a difference. And the solar cells obviously require a lot less uh, supplies. So I think solar cells are still going to be the preferred option for movement. Yeah. Let's slap a matter reactor into here. An anti-matter reactor. We probably don't want sensors if we have this as a mass produced vehicle. Uh, we are going to want armor of some description on this thing. Could even put in uh, artillery mounts or something. Oops. Have to look at the weapon with its rather impressive range and rather impressive accuracy over most of that range. Perhaps even over these torpedoes. Bombardment range, yeah, that's definitely a lot more range. But then again, we've seen how small the maps actually are that combat takes place on, so. Range and kiting might not be that viable an option. Still, I think this is what our ship is going to look like. Guns. Much like those warships we've been building. And um, ammunition. We're gonna need ammunition for them. Again, this is five shots, meaning uh, 15 seconds of continuous fire. So... Like this, maybe. Uh, and yeah, no, we actually need uh, something to move this thing with. Should have probably thought of that before. We might have to downsize the guns. Uh, this is going to need 150 thrusts. So one large thruster would be quite optimal for generating two movement points and only two extra runs from the antimatter reactor. Four speed base on in space plus the uh, combat speed advantage this thing gets would make this. Um, Quite potent at kiting, actually. But again, large thrusters off the menu. Two medium thrusters are going to create 140 thrust, which would result in three speed, which is not what we want. Mm. 140. Oh. 
Yeah, 140 thrust. It's not even going to create a 3 speed because we need 150 thrust to generate a movement point at all, and this this one just gives us bonus movement, so. No. We could do a solar sail and a medium thruster for 170 thrust, which is enough. And this would give us 3 moves, which is probably still sufficient. Uh, but that does not fit. We can remove five armor plates uh, if we want to have kiting as our thing that we do with this ship. That's entirely possible. And then we need to remove a decent amount of the of the ammunition. Uh, actually, something I should be doing probably is putting the guns further in and the ammunition storage out. Because if you're shooting somebody and you're getting shot at, uh, you want your ammunition storage to get hit before your guns. Because you know your guns can still shoot with a little bit of ammunition that they have stored in themselves. Whereas if your guns get shot, well, you're tough out of luck. Yeah, and that's 34 rounds of ammo. Uh, I don't think that's enough. Especially if we want to have these things be kitey. Hmm. Then again, let's look at the cost of these things. They're actually reasonably expensive with 500 minerals in, in those categories, roughly. Most of the cost doesn't really come from any specific thing. So I don't think there's much we can do about it. Oh, and we still need uh, we still need crew for this thing. Okay, I think we definitely have to downsize to one of these. Then this is going to be 29 rounds. 29 rounds times three seconds is uh, okay. That would be enough for my taste. Uh, again, I should probably have this on the inside. Mm. I think we could put a large thruster in here now. So a large thruster would use 180 supplies over, fear m over 4 moves here. 180 supplies, not quite what this, what this thing makes, uh, but 180 supplies is something that we can draw from this thing 4 times and still not be out completely. And uh, 4 times 4 moves is definitely enough to cross the system. And I don't think these things can jump warp points. When I looked at the data files, I didn't see can jump warp points listed. I'm pretty sure units need to have that. Uh, so as a system patrol vehicle, I think this will be sufficient engine-wise. So now we have 16 more cargo space that we can use for, yeah, I guess, crew quarters. Fine. Uh, this and then we can slap on three more armor plates. Mm, yeah, okay. Should you be a colony guardian? Yeah, I guess maybe. You should definitely have strategy of 80 kilometers though. Good colony. M no, maybe I should be guard base because you can move around. Isn't type uh, base guardian 80 kilometers? Okay. That's obsolete the old gunboat, which we don't don't think we actually ever, ever built. And let's look at the designing carriers. Well, let's look at designing our larger ships anyway. Oh, we have mines unlocked now too. Space mines. Deployable trap used as a weapons turret or to ram enemies. So we can actually deploy weapons, uh, Babylon 5 style on this thing. 50 kilotons uh, promises to be quite a bit actually. Store 10 supplies, uh, because I think if these things have zero supplies, uh, the behavior gets a little bit weird. They couldn't move, but mines usually can't move anyway. 30 to dodge bonus, double combat speed? These things can move. Maybe that's why they have supplies, because if they didn't have any supply, they couldn't move at uh, more than any speed. I'm curious. What would an armed mine look like? It can't use any component mounts. Which means it's just going to have like a mass driver on it and thrusters on it. I'm guessing it can't move uh, through sectors. Does it say that here specifically? No, un unmanned can use warhead components. No, it doesn't specifically say that it can't leave the sector they're in. 
And we can't even put fuel on here. Well, I guess that makes sense. They might be used as fuel for. Uh, they might be used as fuel for the guns that we're firing. How much would a warhead actually do? Well, that is quite a lot of damage, if you ask me. They're not terribly expensive. An armed mine? Hmm. I'm not sure. Just how much of a speed bonus do they get? Doubled combat speed. Half speed outside of combat. Half speed outside of combat means half speed on the map. So they're definitely designed to be able to be <laughs> moved on the map. <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me so much. So how much thrust do they need? 50. Medium thruster makes 70. Or would we put two small and a medium on there and then we have one movement speed? Mm, it's not a lot. And then you still want um, boom on them. Yeah. They actually require supply, that's funny. So for our explosive mine, this would look like this. That's a lot of boom. I think it would be sufficient if we do less of these and make this thing faster because we actually want those to catch up with the enemy. Then Kamikaze is going to be your strategy. You are going to be uh, explosive diarrhea, diarrhea or something. Uh, we have eruptive fever, which is, I guess, the next best thing. And you are going to be a miner. No, you're going to be a mine. I guess there is no specific mine uh, design type, so you're just going to be a kamikaze thing. Okay, so we want, what, 100 uh, thrust on this thing? We have 100 thrust on this thing. Oh, this is already the movement speed out of combat. It's halved, okay. So in combat we have 2 um, plus the movement speed bonus, that's double, so we have 4 in speed combat. 4 in speed combat looks like it's going to be enough for us right now. I'm not sure if we should have more. Let us... Mm, what do you say to 150 movement speed? This should still be one move on the map, but... I'm not sure if this does anything different in combat or not. I'm not sure if combat speed is always a multiple of this. But you know what? We can find out. Uh, eruptive fever 150 thrust. We're going to make two types of these, one with 150, one with 100 thrust. And then we're going to put them in combat in a simulation and we're gonna see which one is faster. Uh, you actually have 150 first, yes. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna copy that design. Remove one of these, uh, then it's just going to have... Uh, yeah, we need to one, move one of these back in. And then it's going to have 100 thrust. And this is going to be... Eruptive Fever 100 thrust. Off to the simulator we go. One of these, or one of these. It doesn't actually matter that they are on different sides, but I guess it does matter if you want the combat not to end immediately. How fast do you move? Let's just move you up down here in a straight line and uh, see what your speed is going to look like. That looks pretty damn equal if you ask me. 100 thrust to 150 thrust. So I guess this means uh, the equal, uh, since they're equal, the 100 thrust one win wins out because the thrust is always, or the combat speed is always a multiple of the uh, in space speed. A combat speed of 20 each. Okay. Mystery solved. This is not going to be a thing. Fortunately, we can't delete this, but we could edit this and try to design a mine for uh, 
on one of these, are mined for guns. You would have a mass driver, and a mass driver that would immediately run out of ammo is no fun. Does it actually use supply? It does actually use supply. So with 10 supply, oh no, these things store a little bit of supply, okay, that's fine. Then, um, three light magazines, or one of these. Uh, well, three of these is probably better. Three of these magazines, and that's 15 shots. Okay, then you are not eruptive fever, then you are purpose. And your strategy is not kamikaze, but anti ship 40. Or let's call it guard base 40. Uh, yeah, there are 40 range. Yeah, of course, no mounts, the 40 range. Design type basic guardian 40. And eruptive fever is going to get. Edited and we are going to put in a second warhead. Because more boom is better. And I have no idea how big those ships are. Yes, anyway, but he seemed to prefer big ships on the estimates we've seen. Should we arm this thing? PD does actually shoot these, so I think so, because these armor plates don't actually cost a lot. They cost two minerals and one radioactive per. So in total, armoring this thing, we have spent, what, 12 minerals? In exchange for blowing up ships, I think that's a good trade. Especially since that's only a small percentage of the total cost of the ship. So, Raptor Fever can be Raptor Fever without the 100 thrust added. Oh, renaming these ships like this works. Or well, units in this case. So, now we have new units. Or new designs. We don't have new armies, so that's a different technology. We have our bombers, we have our new gunships or corvettes. Now we need freighters. We also have other ships available. Uh, we have battleships. Oh wow! Four times as big as the cruisers. Uh, they are going to be the ones that actually can mount the heavy mounted things. <sighs> 1600 kilotons are gonna, gonna require a lot of engine power. I think that's where our large engines are going to come into play. I don't wanna uh, make one of these, I don't wanna uh, use planetary bombardment. I don't really think there's an immediate need for planetary bombardment, because I've seen neither planet shields uh, nor weapon platforms be a thing. So, well... Oh god, this thing is bigger yet! 2.4k kilotons. 2.4 megatons. Minus 40 comet speed and it, it's really <laughs> shitty at uh, evading things, but I guess that's not surprising. Because at least 800 kilotons worth of unit launching components in three control centers. Well, let's um, put ourselves to the challenge of designing one of these things. If we're going to make a large ship that is expensive, we can at least put a battle bridge on the inside. I'm not still not uh, certain if ships will die if one of their bridges is intact or if they will yeah if they won't. Let's rephrase that: if they will keep uh, keep firing or keep being useful in combat, if one of their bridges is still intact or if they actually need all three intact, or however many the requirement here uh, says we need. Mm. What kind of reactors do we want? I think antimatter reactors, unless we get a massive imbalance later. Um, mm -hmm. but first, let's put in the required things. Docking base here are the unit launch thingies we need for our gunboats or corvettes. Uh, can launch one every four seconds. Whereas 200 crew uh, provides 300 kilograms of cargo space, that's two of our new corvettes. We placed on the outside, and we need 800 kilotons worth, which means at least three of these components. We could also use two of those on the hangar. We do actually have some fighters flying around, and some fighters defending our colonies. Well, the only fighters we are flying around are the ones that are in the invasion ship. If we put uh, two of these on here, in addition with these, uh, then we could have an easier time meeting the requirement, but I think I'd rather have these uh, docking bays. 
Okay. Uh, do we want a gravity array, maybe? On a big ship like this, it might be useful. Can we put it on the inside? No. What extractor? Oh, when did we, uh, when did we discover this? 160 minerals, organic and radioactives. Requires 100 supplies and ordnance? Ordnance requirement, that's interesting. It produces 50 ordnance a turn. Okay, that is very interesting. Do we have an ordnance supply ability in the uh, spaceport or whatever it was that we supplied these? Because then that would be one way of ensuring you can only really use these remote extractors in systems where you have that kind of resupply ability. Or you just mine at half the speed. Or maybe there's going to be something that can generate ordnance later, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, anyway, we're not really uh, wanting to build these right now, though there might be a good idea to build these later to uh, exploit the planets that we have in our space. Do we want extra cargo base? Mm, maybe. So first of all we should uh, see for our engine setup after this. So large thrusters aren't much better than uh, solar sails thrust wise, so I think I think we want to look into making this thing entirely solar sail propelled, uh, propelled. Yeah. Let's put an antimatter reactor in because we want that plus two speed. And we're going to need 24 solar sails just to move this thing at one speed, which is going to be ending up in three speed. Uh, let us put in these 12. Oh, actually, designed this on the lower deck. Damage, which means probably I designed the uh, units on the lower deck earlier too. It's going to be annoying me throughout the rest of the game and probably add to. Uh, if he looks at my designs at all. So, yeah, there we go. Three movement speed. Uh, these still only produce enough supplies to move themselves at uh, two speed. Which means that we're going to have a shortfall of 24 times 5 being. Uh, 120 supplies a turn, which is not quite what this thing produces, but it's close enough. And with 3k supply storage, it's definitely enough for me. Um, hmm. We still have a lot of space left. We could make this a 4 speed ship if we put in another 24 solar sails. And then we're going to have a bigger shortfall of. Uh, a bigger shortfall of supply. Instead of 120, we're going then to then have what 360 supplies shortfall. Mm, which is a little bit more of an issue. How much are these solar reactors actually made? All right, it's 100 per star. It's not that great. Mm. Let's dump in another 24 solar cells. 12 here and another three on each level. There you go. Now we have four speed. And we still have enough space left to, uh, I guess, build a lot of crew quarters. Oh, damn it. I was <laughs> tempted to put a fourth docking bay in here. Uh, I guess was being a keyword. Uh, let's use these on the outside to work as a damage buffer. Um, do we really care about small crew quarters? No, I think we can afford a little bit of inefficiency. So we have a sensor. Mm, do we need ordnance? We might want extra ordnance. We might also want point of fence, to be honest. Yeah, let's dump a point defense cannon on this thing. I think we can't get away with more than one. And let's give it a little bit of ammunition storage because these things really guzzle these. Well, I'm tempted to put a heavy magazine on here. If we put a heavy magazine on, we can't really put uh, much of anything in the worth in the uh, terms of armor on here. That's 100 kilotons of armor. I don't think that is going to be very much at all. Okay, it's going to be lightly defended, and most of this ammunition is going to be for the fighters. 
for the gun chips. I'm fine with that. This, ladies and gentlemen, shall be your carrier. This is the most expensive ship we've ever built by far. What actually adds most of that expense? Isn't all the engines? They're relatively cheap. Our docking bays are reasonably expensive. They add a little bit. This is not expensive. This is not expensive. It's just the sum of the things, huh? Is this expensive? I still feel like this shouldn't be that expensive. Oh. This is just have a very expensive base cost. I thought it was like 240. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, maybe I guess 24 or uh, 48 of solar sails and all the rest of the stuff is actually expensive. Uh, strategy. There's no carrier strategy. We've already determined that. So you wanna be guard colony. Um, 20, I guess. Do you? You probably don't want to be that at all. I'm not sure if Flea has uh, launch units enabled. So be guard colony. 80. Since it doesn't have any guns, it can hit ships. Uh, shouldn't be close to them anyway. It can actually hit fighters. So let's have a guard colony 20. I'm not entirely sure how these uh, strategies work. We can look at them and speculate more, but I'm not really inclined to do that right now. Design type. Carrier. There we go. Special carrier type for these? No. No, there isn't. And uh, what horrible name shall we give this thing? Impurity. In a bad way. In danger. Uh, diseases. Mm, in hospital. We could call a damn thing a hospital. Cause, you know, things get in there. Things that are named after diseases. Put diseases in a hospital. Makes sense, right? Uh, okay. We also had the um, battleship unlocked. But I don't really want to build one of these. Not sure they're going to be very useful right now. I think we're better off just building more cruisers. Hmm. Should we look at building cruisers with large thrusters? I'm interested in building cruisers that go four speed now, like uh, this one. Which means I think we should um, obsolete these. Yeah, let's obsolete those. Um. But this one I don't think we're going to need anymore either. Colonizer we're certainly going to keep using. In fact, we were going to build colonizers for the system down there. So let's build a better colonizer. Uh, first of all, medium thrusters, you only need 12, not 14. And then we have uh, better reactors now. We have the antimatter reactor now. Could use that. I would like to keep this thing at least three speeds. I don't necessarily need it to go faster. Should we attempt to fuel this with solar sails? Mm. I'm going to need eight solar sails. There we go. Alright, there was a problem that they were too big. And they don't actually save us enough crew so that we can afford this. They were too big, but with these we don't really need a uh, large reactor. With this we can get away with one of the small antimatter reactors. At 3 speed, that'll definitely make up for the shortfall of these uh, 8 solar panels, 8 solar panels. Having a shortfall of 5 supplies a turn is 40, which this antimatter reactor can definitely cover. So this thing could reach uh, the end of the universe if it wanted to. And honestly, we don't even need the reactor. Uh, thing, we can't put in another cargo bay. We don't have enough. We might just have enough space to fit in another cargo bay. 
Where is the cargo bay? Come to me. Yes, I don't need enough crew or anything. Still need one of these though. So do we put in a do we wanna put in a radar dish or something? Maybe not. I mean I guess they don't cost that much. So we might as well. Uh, they can't fit stealth go things, they're too fat for that. And uh, oh yeah, but that is actually all the space we needed. So 2,000 supply <laughs> with these things can uh, still propel us quite away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't put a second one of these on. We do need the reactor for the extra movement. Damn. And here was almost happily that we could take with us, uh, with us twice the uh, defensive units. Now it needs to be this way. Meaning we can't put in the extra tonnage. Uh, the extra cargo tonnage. Meaning uh, we have to figure out what to do with the rest of this space now. Maybe we don't have to fill it. Could put in 8 extra thrusters and probably get to 4 speed. Which is probably still going to be fine. Uh, more than 8? 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, um, that doesn't fit. No, okay, we can't get to full speed. Oh well. Not inclined to arm this thing. I would slap on the uh, this one again, the sensor. I guess that's just what our colonizer is going to look like. Mm, got a little more expensive in organics. Oh well. So, there were two asteroid fields in here. So we want you to make two colonizers. Uh, it's uh, this one, gonorrhea. Each of these can carry a hundred tons of units. And our bombers are 25 kilotons, so we want eight bombers. These bombers are actually not very expensive. Okay, there's really not that much, uh, four of these bombers, it's really not that much uh, military hardware to, for them to take with them. The alternative is taking with them 10 uh, extra population but I'm more or less relying on uh, my natural migration to fill up my planners right now anyway. Since they are just so much faster than the carriers I could build. Or the freighters for population transport I could build. Uh, what do our colonies look like? Nothing to build here. You don't need to be adjusted. You're actually starting to build research labs. Which means we probably want a... Uh, Space dock here sooner rather than later. At this rate, it's still going to take a year for this damn thing to be built. Maybe a little less once the second light shipyard gets built, but uh, long enough. Uh, I guess we have to miss out on a few research points until then. Uh, you are a research compound, in case you had figured that out yet. You're still going somewhere else. And you guys are going to go there and no other ships need orders what's the research looking like right we want to get these uh, fusion torpedoes what's this orbit shipyards oh yeah building ships in orbit and not spending tons of time building shipyards and tons of facility space on the shipyards that might be an option I like the idea of that quite a lot actually what else does it unlock uh, well, just more uh, well better stats for these ships and better stats for these unit uh, things. And medium first is three. And that's the thing. And again, it only costs 400 for level two, so this is not exactly out of our striking range, research wise. So let's figure out the point at which this becomes a one turn there. And what else do we want? other than fusion torpedoes. No, we wanted sensors afterwards. 
And now, now we've uh, gone for these fusion torpedoes and we actually built a gunship that had regular guns on it. But we can still design a, a new one next turn, see if these fusion torpedoes are worth it. Missiles, planetary bombardment missiles, and capital ship missiles. <laughs> uh, they look a lot more vanilla like. Um, but with this cost attached to them, I am disinclined to research this. Disinclined indeed. Bombs, fusion bombs, as opposed to planetary bombardment missiles. Mm. I don't know. Maybe they're going to have longer range or something? I don't know what fusion bomb range looks like. I haven't, I haven't uh, really looked at bombs yet. Miniguns. I mean, miniguns is also something you might want to research sooner or later because it's PD. Um, well, let's spend it on sensors. No, we decided we were going to go for quantum physics 2 first before we were going for sensors, yes. You want to also unlock the orbital shipyard. I guess, uh, since we have it listed under both orbital industry and quantum physics, that means it unlocks a level with both of them. So we're, we're going to attack both orbital industry and quantum physics too. Uh, we would get orbital shipyards level 2. At least that's what I'm guessing. We'd have to actually see what the component of the shipyard looks like to see if it's a viable alternative to our colony bound production facilities. But that is an issue for next time.